the news. Now humans know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. Violence is never the answer. Dialogue is the only way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. Simon paid with his life. Simon gave his life for our cause. What difference does that make? He's a hero. He died for the revolution, and he won't be the last. I don't want a revolution that spills blood. Then live as a slave. Because if you're not willing to fight for your freedom, maybe you don't deserve it. North, don't you dare. That's enough! And now what are we going to do? There are five Cyber Life stores across Detroit. All selling us like merchandise. We're gonna attack those stores and set our people free. Attack stores? No, oh, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. We break into five towns, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike. Simultaneously at 2 a.m., no violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. This is a night our people will remember. I've been waiting a long time for this. Okay, they're gone. There's probably even more police in the area. We should be careful. The store's over here. That's what we are to them. Just merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. We'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's 10 minutes until all our teams attack. What are we waiting for? You see the alarm system? Found it. Where do we start? I identify the security system. I think we'll be able to deactivate it. Just follow me. Surveillance drone. We need to get rid of it. It won't be easy to reach. You are free. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. You 
are free. Exactly what we need to ram the store. What are we waiting for? Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. I wonder what you'd do without me. I knew we'd end up doing something fun. We can't just leave our people behind. It's too late, North. We failed. Marcus, we did it. All teams succeeded. Our people are free. We're heading back to Jericho. Shit! We screwed up. Our people are still prisoners in that fucking store, and it's all our fault. No, it's my fault. I messed this up. At least our other team succeeded. How could you get this so wrong? I thought you knew what you were doing. I did what I could. I'm sorry that's not enough for you. No, it's not enough. This is a war we're fighting with the humans. If we fail, they'll destroy us. The fate of our people is in your hands. You have to succeed. You have no choice.
Still immortal, huh, Connor? In a way. You know, I was hoping you wouldn't come back. I'm just a machine replacing another machine, Lieutenant. You shouldn't get emotional about it. Fuck you. Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing test. And he's the founder of Cyberlife. Anybody can tell us about Deviance, it's him. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Nice girl. You're right. She's really pretty. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Elijah will see you now. Mr. Kamsky? Just a moment, please. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviance. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement 
threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on? I have no side. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I'm sorry, but I don't see what you're getting at. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android. Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? A 
maybe you did the right thing. I was wondering where you were. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. I've been thinking about what we should do now. And with everything pulling us towards confrontation, maybe, maybe it's not too late for the humans to listen. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. It's too late to go back now. We have to finish what we started and just hope that reason prevails. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can't live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. We all have something we want to forget. But you need to know where you come from to know who you are. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories, too. 
the Eden Club, the, the death of that man, I felt like I was there with you. North. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus, it's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free. Listen to me. I want this android destroyed, and I want a replacement. Are you listening? Hello? Hello? 